today we are going to learn about gravity, weight, and mass, and how they are related. So what is gravity? Gravity is the pulling force between two objects. So for example, if I had this little girl and the earth, gravity is pulling the little girl towards earth. And actually the little girl is pulling on the earth, but just with a much smaller force because she is a smaller object. And if we have a larger object, like the sun, the sun also pulls on the earth, but with a much larger force because it is a much larger object. The earth is pulling on the sun as well, but not with as much force because it is a smaller object. So what is weight? Weight is actually the measure of the amount of the force of gravity. So a smaller object doesn't have as much pull as a larger object. So if you weigh these, you're going to have a stronger pull down and the larger object is going to have more weight than a smaller object because gravity is pulling based on the size. So what is mass? Mass is the measure of the amount of material or matter in an object. If I had these three objects here that are all relatively the same size, they may actually have different masses. This first rock here has many ear holes in it. It's the same size as the second rock, but it may have a different mass because some of the space may be taken up with the ear holes. This here is a very thick rock it would probably have a larger mass than the first rock. The apple is the same size as the both rocks, but it may also have a different mass. So mass is the measure of the amount of material of an object. So weight and mass are related, but they are not the same thing. Mass is a measure of the amount of matter and how thick an object is, and weight is a measure of a pull of gravity. So something with a larger mass would have a larger weight because gravity would be able to pull on it more. But size also makes a difference and the thickness of the material. A thicker rock might actually pull more with gravity and have a larger weight than say something with a different density or a different thickness. So weight, mass, and gravity are all connected. Take this little girl here. She has a certain mass and her mass is unchanging, the amount of matter in her. On Earth, her weight is 60 pounds. That's because Earth's gravity is pulling on her with an amount of 60 pounds. If she were to possibly travel to the moon, her mass would stay the same, but her weight would change. She would actually only weigh 10 pounds because the mass of the moon is much smaller than the mass of the Earth. If this same little girl would be able to travel to Jupiter, she would actually not change her mass again, but the mass of the object she's standing on, the planet, Jupiter, is much larger than either the moon or the earth. Her weight would therefore increase because of the stronger pull of gravity from a larger massed object. Her weight would be 142 pounds. So as you can see, Mass actually stays the same. The amount of matter in her does not change. How much gravity pulls on her changes based on the mass of the planet. So to review, gravity is the pulling force between two objects. The larger mass the object has, the larger the pull. Mass is the measure of the amount of matter in an object. This doesn't change unless you change the object. 
weight is a measure of the pull of gravity. This changes if you change one or both of the objects that are pulling on each other. And mass actually stays the same. The amount of matter doesn't change. How much gravity pulls can change based on the mass of the planet. That means weight is changeable. So when people talk about losing weight, they're not being exact with their words. Really, losing weight would be a simple thing. One person would just have to travel to the moon, and they would automatically lose weight. What they should be saying is they want to lose mass, so that way gravity would be able to pull less on them. So if you want to stay on Earth, you want to decrease your mass, which would decrease your weight. So really, you should lose mass, not weight. I'd like to thank Google Images for helping me find all the wonderful photos I used to explain this video. Also, if you're curious for more, go to http colon backslash backslash www.exploratorium.edu backslash romh backslash weight to learn how your weight would change if you traveled to different planets and to read more about gravity, mass, and weight.